हे गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर लाइफ माय सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना सी सम सी एस एक्स लेक्टर्स एंड या लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विदाउट द फर्दर डिले सो दीज आर सम बेसिक सी एस एस सिलेक्टर्स दैट वी हैव यूज टिल नाउ सो दीज आर क्लास एंड आई डी सिलेक्टर्स एंड फॉर सिलेक्टिंग सम टैग विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस आई डी सिलेक्टर वी नीड टू गिव दैट टैग अ आई डी नेम but there are some restrictions that that id name cannot be start with a numeric or a number and for class selectors we can use like for selecting class we need to give them the particular class name and while selecting that particular tag we need to pass on the class name uh, like dot followed by class name and after that we can write properties in that so these are the basic selectors that we know but sometimes what happens we can we are not able to give the id name and class name to each and every tag so for that css has discovered some another selectors also so that are combinator selectors pseudo class selectors and and there are variety of selectors that we have so we are going to learn all of them line by line so let us see so the first selectors that we are going to see today for today is pseudo selectors like pseudo classes or pseudo selectors you can say so pseudo select pseudo class or pseudo selectors they are they, they are used to define a special like a special state of an element yeah and we can style a element whenever like mouse is mouse our mouse hover over that particular tag or element we can uh, find out which uh, links are visited or unvisited links we can style them differently along with that we can also get focus let's say if i want to have a focus on one particular element whenever i am hovering over it so that is also possible through the pseudo classes so let us see what does this pseudo classes do and how it works actually so let us do one thing let us directly jump on to our vs code so yeah i have opened my vs code over here and right now let's say i am importing my index.html that is html boilerplate i am saving this and i am just opening my live server okay so i have opened my live server here okay so right now i am going to just style it down so first of all what i need is div tag okay and inside div tag uh not inside okay inside div tag i am just going to write dev town our classes name and after that i am just going to write this p tag and after p tag i am going to take one h2 tag okay in p tag i am just going to write uh, hello hello user okay so it's hello user hello comma it's a simple thing and in h2 tag i am just going to write hello 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 brother right so hello brother is there yeah that's the thing and i am just saving it yeah so i think yeah we are getting the proper result so next thing what i want is i just want to give them a style so let's say what i want right now i want to select my p tag so i can select this element directly by writing the element name here over here and followed by the curly braces and inside this we need to pass on properties and value so properties means that margin padding or something height we can, height we if we want to improve height width font font weight font style anything so that comes under property and every property has some value okay so let me just uh, give it a border of one pixel solid black this time so for p tag i am giving on the border okay and i also want the width to be limited so i am giving a width of 200 pixel so yeah and i also want my text to align at the center so text align center i am saving it okay my text is coming to center and a bit of padding let's say 5 pixel is enough i guess i am saving it yeah it's it's looking fine and background color of antique white yes it is absolutely fine looking good okay so the next thing i can do is uh, i can make the content inside it little bold saving it 
okay so it is looking fine right now so what i want i want it to use my pseudo classes here so how can i use my pseudo classes over here okay so for that we have something called as pseudo pseudo selectors so we need to write tag name let's say tag name or any selectors we can use here it might be id selector or class selectors i will show you that here i will show you that thing also so p and for selecting pseudo selectors we need to pass this colon and i will gonna use hover after that hover i am just gonna open my curly bracket so what i want on hovering my background color should changes to let's say black and my color of text should be white and my font weight should be bolder right i am just saving it normally so let us see whether whether it is working or not and i also want my cursor to be pointer so whenever i am hovering over the user hello hello user i want my cursor to be pointer okay so let us see see as i am hovering over this particular p tag you are able to see that back my background color is changing and my text color is changing to white so yeah i guess you got it so my pseudo classes are working properly here so let's say if i don't want to select this p tag and instead of this p tag let's say i am giving some id to this let's say para so what i can write here is hashtag para i am saving this thing still it is working properly so no issues we can select like we can use any selector to select that particular tag and we can just pass on pseudo classes of whatever we want okay so there is one another thing also let's say if i want to highlight highlight this particular thing and with highlight i want hover okay and in this case i am increasing the size to 30 pixel whenever i am hovering over it so right now you are able to see okay i guess this highlight will not work here let us see whether yeah so my text size is also also changing whenever i am hovering over this so let us try to use the tag name itself tag name itself it should be hover or like something like this okay no issues i will tell you this afterwards but i think <laughs> this is the basic idea behind using the pseudo classes another one another uh, pseudo properties that we can use are uh, let's say uh, it's a visited thing okay so visited is also there let's say uh, if my site is visited then i need a background color of a uh, violet and text color of no it it should be color only not text color text color of white i want okay right now i'm saving this okay but this visited this visited will work only i guess in the case of what only in the case of anchor tags so okay so i will give one thing i am just gonna copy down this whole thing and yeah okay i guess i haven't copied this thing p visited okay so no issues i am copying this thing also and simply pasting it over here cuz right now i am using my anchor tag a tag but i haven't uh, declare or any anchor tag in my body section so first of all i need to give uh, it a uh, anchor tag thing anchor tag is proper and yes href also i need to give so let's say i am giving a http of google.com okay i am saving it normally so right now you are able to see that my text is uh, becoming this thing what color is uh, becoming blue okay so right now my box property is getting applied okay so right now i am redirected to google.com because my i have given the href of here so let's say if i am going back over there so right now you are able to see that my this property is getting applied so this property is visited property whenever any href or any link is visited so in that case on google also if i if i let's say if i try to show you i recently opened my flipkart.com so let's say i am searching for flipkart.com flipkart only on google see you are able to see that this first website is of violet color so it 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 says that my 
I have visited his website previously. Okay, so like this, like this is the this is the very first practical usage of these pseudo classes we can say. Okay, so the next thing that we can do with this pseudo classes is uh, we can uh, see whether our link is active or not. So for that we need to pass this active thing. See, if my link is active, then it is coming. Uh, like my color is becoming only violet. Yeah. So right now my link is uh, like active. So that's why it is we are coming to the color like this. Okay. So that's the thing. And another one, what I want. Okay, I guess this this, this is so much for pseudo classes. But another thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, child child uh, child classes. How to select the child classes. So let's say I have one. Uh, let's say I have one div and inside that particular div I am using number of images or many number of paragraph tags so how to how to select that particular tags so for that we have one another thing that is sudo like child selectors we can say so first of all I am just removing this and yeah I am taking one div and inside my div I am taking p p tag four times so let's say it says one, one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a ID of uh, container. Okay, so it, it is having ID of container. So by using hashtag container, I am gonna pass a uh, I'm gonna pass a uh, let's say I want a background color of something known as Azure. Let us see whether it is working fine or not. Yes, it is looking absolutely fine. Okay, and I want my text to be aligned in the center for each and everything inside the thing. Okay, so let us just divide my page in two sections. Okay, so that all the text inside this p tag is coming to the center. Although I am applying this property to the container, but it it is followed by this p tag. And then until we are changing the this thing inside the p tag by selecting them. So let's say what I want. I want my second p tag to have the text color of let's say green. So what I can do? See what I am doing right now. I am not directly selecting the p tag. What I can pass here is see this thing and nth child so what is this nth child so let's say my container div has 4 p inside that particular div tag okay so this container is having 4 childs 4 p childs so let's say I want to select one particular child so how to select that so let's say if I am giving 1 over here in nth child then it will select this first child if I am giving 2 then second and followed by the remaining remaining p tag so let's say I'm, I want to select the third tag I'm passing over here 3 and as always I am writing all my properties and values inside the curly brackets so let's say I'm gonna what I want I wanted a color of green to my third tag so I'm just passing on green color over here no issues okay coming back if I'm saving it so let, let me see whether it is working properly or not. We can give it a container or might be div I guess. But why it is not working? Okay, a color of this and a background color of let's say aqua. It is not attaching to it. I think, I think we need to do this thing like this here only okay so that's this is also not working actually don't know what happened so yeah actually what is happening whenever i am uh, selecting this particular tag so it is getting so uh, my nth child is considered one for whole p tag so let's say if i am taking multiple div tags inside that okay and uh, let's say i am passing on one two three over here one two and the last one three 
I'm saving this thing. And right now you are able to see that this property, this background property is only getting applied to the first child that is one. I'm refreshing it it over again. I'm just removing the color color thing. I'm saving all thing and see right now you are able to see that I am getting my property applied to the first child. Let's say we, we just uh, move it to third tag. See. So right now this property is getting applied to our third div. So in this way we can select the child 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 elements with the help of this pseudo classes as well. Yeah. So I hope you guys have got the idea how to select the nth child with the help of this nth child pseudo classes and also the idea behind how hovering is working and how we can convert our cursor to pointer and all that tough stuff. Okay. So I hope this is set for today and I will see you guys in the next video. If you are liking the content, then don't forget to subscribe the channel. And if you are liking the videos, then also for, don't forget to share this content with your friends. I will see you in next video. Until then, goodbye.